or put down this troubled land on protests if you can find one. In the final few remaining workplaces and all over the Paralympic village, you'll hear selfish lion Tory cunt this. You may be on Facebook or perhaps contributing to the debate yourselves on Twitter by tweeting greedy Robin selfish Tory cunts. <laughs> you can say what you like after all, can't you? It is a free country. <laughs> Apparently not. Today, blogger Ollie Cromwell was found guilty of gross and malicious conduct under paragraph section 127 of the Communications Act 2003 for calling a Conservative councillor of Bexley a cunt on Twitter. Oh, excuse me, did I just say cunt? I expected that to get bleeped. <laughs> Cromwell was sentenced to one year community service order and a five year restraining order banning him from any contact with Bexley Council on social media or in real life. <laughs> the left bats from the moral high ground and the right uses the arm of the law but what both parties make clear is the worst thing that they can call each other is a cunt. <laughs> so, you can say what you like after all, but next time you say Tory cunt, leave my cunt out of it. <laughs> because there is nothing Tory about my cunt. <laughs> Socialists down there. <laughs> Girls, boys, whatevers. My cunt smashed the looms with the Luddites, and my cunt struck with the match girls and the miners and the dockers and the cleaners and the teachers and the garments and the railway and the Grunwick and the Dagenham workers when they demanded equal pay. <laughs> My cunt could accommodate the entire 99%. <laughs> My cunt is a kettle. Students would gladly pay a fee to get contained in. But I don't charge, no. Entry into my cunt is purely based on merit, not credit. <laughs> says austerity is a massive lie <laughs> created by the super rich so they can reap even more profit while the rest of us are told to tighten our belts and do without luxuries like food, A&E <laughs> wards, housing, school and public services. My cunt says there is no such thing as justice when a young looter can get six months for nicking a little bottle of water and meantime, Bob Diamond, CEO of Barclays Bank, commits multi-billion pound fraud and gets a slap on the wrist and walks on the says, why don't we have a change, eh? Let's let people with disabilities live in the lack of luxury. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, it's all very well you saying that, cunt. But how are you going to pay for it? Now, we'd all love to see handicapped people having more fun, but don't you know that there's no money left anymore? You've spent it all already, cunt. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find actually that there's loads of money left and uh, I do know how we're going to pay for this. We're going to take the entire royal family, <laughs> the dregs of the aristocracy and the millionaire class because they are after all 
in it together anyway, aren't they? We'll take them and all the hangers on and we will invest in one-way megabus tickets. <laughs> in the north of England. <laughs> Upon arrival, they will live out the rest of their days on benefits, but we don't want them to get too comfortable, do we? No. Every few months, we're going to means test them. Yeah. And do you know what for? What? For a laugh. <laughs> democratic yeah. socialist society that knew no borders, she wouldn't be shouting free pussy riot, and neither would you, because it would be Putin behind bars for crimes against humanity.
Is it you, Camilla? Oh, I know what it is. It's my arsehole. <laughs> Let's form a coalition cunt. We could overthrow the government. <laughs> <laughs>